Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to SilverBulletin.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And did you vote early or not? And if you did, where and who did you vote for? Tell us in the comments. We'll give you a five-second head start before we start filling in that beautiful election map. Go ahead and bring it up, though. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Post those comments on who you vote for and if you early voted. We want to hear from every single one of you and hit that subscribe button if you're happy that the election is upon us. We're using the Silver Bulletin, which is, I guess, some people say it's super reliable. I don't know. It might be reliable. We've used them three or four other times on this YouTube channel because we use different sources from different walks of life. First up, we got Nevada. And Nevada, according to the Silver Bulletin, has... Kamala Harris at 47.9% of the vote and Donald J. Trump at 48.2%, giving Donald J. Trump a 0.3 lead in Nevada, making Nevada red for Donald J. Trump as of right now. Arizona, with its 11 electoral votes, according to the Silver Bulletin, uh, Kamala Harris has 46.9% to Donald J. Trump's 49.0%, giving Trump a 2.1 lead in Arizona, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump giving him the lead now in the Electoral Vote College with 236 for Donald J. Trump and 226 to Kamala Harris. She was leading before we filled in these two states. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Wisconsin, according to the Silver Bulletin, Kamala Harris has 48.6% of the vote to Donald J. Trump's 47.7% of the vote, giving Kamala Harris a lead of 0 0.9, making Wisconsin in 10 electoral votes blue for Kamala Harris. Now up, we got Michigan. According to the Silver Bulletin, Kamala Harris has 48.5% of the vote to Donald J. Trump's 47.2% of the vote with a 1.3 lead for Kamala Harris in Michigan, making Michigan blue for Kamala Harris. Ho! Oh, those factory workers must hate making gasoline-powered vehicles. They must love the idea of swapping over to electric vehicle factories. We got Georgia up next with uh, the Silver Bulletin, Kamala Harris is 47.5% of the vote to Donald J. Trump's 49%, giving Trump a 1.5% lead in Georgia, making Georgia and its 16 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. We got the last two states. Let's see where we stand. Donald J. Trump is at 252 electoral votes to Kamala Harris is 251. This could mean that all Kamala Harris needs to do is win... Pennsylvania, and she wins the election. Donald Trump could win North Carolina and still lose the election if Kamala Harris wins Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania and the Amish community, get out and vote like your life depends on it because it does. My bank account can't take four more years of the Bidenomics. Uh, that's for sure. But let's fill in the rest of that map. North Carolina, according to the Silver Bulletin, Kamala Harris has 47.5% of the vote to Donald J. Trump's 48.7% of the vote, giving Trump a 1.2 lead in the polls in North Carolina, making North Carolina red for Donald J. Trump. This gives Donald J. Trump 268 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 251. The deciding break will be Pennsylvania. Will they cheat again like they did in 2020? Let's find out. The Silver Bulletin has Kamala Harris at 48 point, actually 48% on the dot in Pennsylvania's support of the vote to Donald J. Trump's 48.3% of the vote, giving Trump a 0.3 lead in Pennsylvania, making Pennsylvania and the Amish community red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance's hillbilly eulogy. Some people would call this a landslide. I would not because it's based on one state. Donald J. Trump, 287 electoral votes to Kamala Harris, 251, making Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance and the hillbilly eulogy your next president and vice president of the United States of America. This is according to the Silver Bulletin. Of course, these percentages are too close to call. There's too much time left for election fraud. There's too much time left for them to print out more ballots for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Just like they did in 2020 for Joe Biden because there's no way he won that election fairly. I'm President Ross. And I'm back. And we are. Out. Praise the Lord.